Hi, are you up for some cake? Welcome, I'm Rose Zotli, and today we're gonna to be making a delicious pineapple Italian cream cake from scratch. In a mixing bowl, add two cups of flour, two cups of regular sugar, one teaspoon of baking soda, one stick of softened margarine, and if you're in a rush, you could stick it in the microwave for about eight to 10 seconds to soften it up. I'll be using half a cup of vegetable oil, one cup of buttermilk. We're going to add three fourths of this 14 ounce bag of coconut flakes and reserve the rest for later. We're gonna need five egg yolks in our bowl. This is how I separate mine. Be sure to save your egg whites because we will be using them later. We are now ready to mix all of our ingredients. I'm gonna start at a low speed so we don't make a mess and then we'll gradually speed it up. For our egg whites, we're gonna be beating these until stiffened. I'm gonna start at a low speed, gradually increasing so that I can form some nice stiff peaks. When done, set them aside until needed. You're going to need one standard size can of pineapple chunks. I don't have the large can, so I'm just using two eight ounce cans here. And we're gonna be draining the pineapple chunks. I don't add my juice in my batter because it becomes too liquidy. I'm setting five pineapple chunks aside so we can decorate with later. Now we wanna add our pineapple into our bowl and mix at a medium speed for a minute. Now that everything's mixed, I'm gonna pour my egg whites and fold. Spray three nine inch pans so your cake doesn't stick. And fill all three pans evenly. All right. We want to bake at 350 degrees for 25 minutes or until done. Our cakes are ready, cooling on a rack. Let's go toast our coconut. In a small sheet pan lined with parchment paper, I'm going to add the coconut flakes that we reserved earlier. We're gonna spread these out and toast them in the oven. At 350 degrees, we wanna start baking for eight minutes and come back. Eight minutes in, we wanna give them a quick mix and put them back in for three minutes. Three minutes later, this is what they look like. We wanna mix them again and put them back in for two more minutes. And the reason we have to keep coming back and mixing them is so that we don't burn them. And as you can see, now they're nice and toasted just like we want them. Moving on to our frosting, we're gonna start with two packages of Philadelphia cream cheese at room temperature. You can always let them sit out while you're baking your cake so that they soften. You also want one and a half sticks of butter softened and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now I'm bringing it back to my mixer. We're gonna start at low speed, increasing it to high. We wanna make sure everything gets broken up and mixed. I have a 32 ounce, two pound bag of white powder sugar that we're gonna be using. I'm gonna use most of the bag, probably about three fourths of the bag. If you wish, you can use the whole bag, it won't hurt. And I'm gonna start at a low speed, adding my sugar in slowly so that I don't make a mess all over my kitchen. I will gradually increase my speed just a bit and then continue to add my sugar in. Oh, and there it is. I just did it to myself. Just start at a low speed, guys. You can increase the speed once your sugar starts dissolving in the mix. Once it starts getting nice and creamy like this, you're done. I'm going to be using some chopped nuts for my cake if your nuts aren't chopped, you might want to just grab a handful and then just to use a meat tenderizer and hammer them down until they're nice and small. Um, what did you just say? Oh, oh, somehow that just didn't sound right. Just take care of your nuts, people. You know what I meant. All right, over here, my cakes have already cooled off, so I'm going to go ahead and flip them over on my rack. I'm gonna take my first layer and add it to my cake stand. 
Add a little bit of frosting in between and get yourself a can of crushed pineapple and add it on top as a filling. I'm out today, so I'm just using frosting. Now we're ready for our second layer. And we'll do the same. And now my last layer. I'm just going to finish frosting this. Now we're going to take our pecans and we're going to place these all around the side. This is going to get a little messy, but I think it'll make it look really nice. When you're done, just go all around the bottom with a paper towel and wipe everything down. Now for our pineapples, remember we saved five chunks. I went ahead and cut those in half and I'm just going to put them around the center just to let everyone know that this is made out of pineapple as well. We're going to sprinkle some of our toasted coconut all around on top. I'm going to take my pecans and put them all around the edge and you can just play around with it, see what looks good to you, what doesn't. I'm just decorating as I go. So what do you think? How about I cut a slice of this baby up for you? Now let's go in for the taste. Ooh, you guys want a bite? Ooh, uh, sorry guys, I wish I could share. Go bake your cake. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so below and hit that little bell to get notified of all of my new videos. Thanks for watching.